Welcome back, and we're actually joined by our technology now expert, Matt Wortel from Velocity Network. Thanks so much for coming in. Thanks, Ashley. And today we're talking about something that really affects everyone, especially people that stream and watch TV, because Netflix is changing. Absolutely. So most of us stream content now. I think there was a report out either today or yesterday that said most people consume their content through streaming video. So Netflix is making a huge change, and it's something that I think affects a lot of us uh, from the perspective of most of us are sharing our password or have one account. And I think you had mentioned you're using your parents' accounts. I think a lot of kids at college or a lot of kids that have grown up in the streaming age probably sharing somebody's account. You have one account for your apartment with your other family members. So Netflix is cracking down on that. They've estimated there's about 100 million accounts or 100 million people that are using Netflix by, by sharing somebody's account. So what they're trying to do is increase their revenue, but at the same time, that affects a lot of us that have been using passwords from somebody else for a long time. Yes, and it's just a way for them to make, you know, make more money. They see their streams kind of flatline. So right. I understand that, but now it may be difficult for people. But you have some tips on how you right. can kind of save. Right. So if you're if you're leveraging somebody else's account, it's rolling out. It hasn't rolled out in the United States yet, but they're rolling out country by country. So there's a couple different options that you have. One, you could just sign up for your own Netflix account, and those vary in price depending upon ad-supported content or how many streams that you want. So you can do that, or you can add yourself as another authorized user on the existing Netflix account. So if you do that, they're estimating, they haven't announced the prices yet, but they're probably going to be in the range of 7 to $10 per user for authorized accounts. If you do nothing, uh, once they put in kind of the embargo with the new restrictions, you're going to be locked out because Netflix is going to look at your household, so where they see your devices coming from primarily as the only location that will be able to stream Netflix content. So they're going to prohibit or prevent anything from outside. Um, there's a lot of information on their website. We'll have links to our website on how to do that. Uh, but other options are, too, to make sure if you're bundling through your cell phone carrier or any other places, there's a website called mybundle.tv that we recommend to customers to check out to see are there other options to get Netflix included with other bundles, or are there other ways to kind of bundle Hulu and Netflix and Disney Plus and those sorts of things to potentially create your own account and save some money at the same time? Thanks, Matt. You definitely just taught me something, and this is very helpful for people with families. To see this full segment again and get some of those handy tips, it'll be on our website and their website as well. Thanks again for coming in. Thanks, Isley.